Hello and welcome students. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you all of the tenses in the English grammar. For each tense, I will show you the form, its different uses and I will share with example sentences to help you fully understand. So, if you're ready, let's begin. So students, what is tense? Tense means time. Already you have learnt tenses in 6th standard, 7th standard. So you have a little knowledge of tense. But still let me tell you, uh, let me remind you what is tense. Tense means time. Tense is the time described by a verb shown by its grammatical form. Or we also can say that tense is a verb based method used to indicate the time and sometimes the continuation or completeness of an action or state in relation to the time of speaking. The concept of tense in English is a method that we use to refer to time that is past, present and future. Many languages use tense to talk about time. So, we talk about time in English with tense. We cannot talk of tenses without considering two components that is time and aspects. So in simple language or in simple terms we can say time, time which expresses past that means before now. Means if we say now is present then before now that is past and now is present already I told you or now or any that includes now is considered in present tense and future that is after now. So let's see how these are formed. Before we get into the lesson here is a chart showing all of the tenses. There are three types present, past and future and four aspects simple, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. The time and the aspects combined to make all of the 12 tenses in English. The present time and the simple aspect make the present simple tense. Then we have present continuous, present perfect and present perfect continuous. In the same way we can make tenses with the past and future time as well. We are going to discuss all of these in this lesson. So let's begin with the first tense, the present simple. We make the present simple tense with the subject like I, you, we, they, he, she or it and the verb in the present or V1 form. For example, I hear strange noises. Sentence 2. He hears strange noises. Notice verb in sentence number 2. We have verb with S. In present tense, if the subject is I, you, we or they, we use the verb without S. That is why sentence 1 is I hear strange noises and if the subject is he, she or it, we add s to the, to the verb. That's why second sentence is he hears strange noises. The simple present is used to express what is actually now taking place? For example, here comes Rohit. See how it rains. To express universal or general truths. For example, the earth moves round the sun. The soul is immortal. The sun rises in the east. Fortune favors the brave. Rain falls from the clouds. The earth is round. Where there is a will, there is a way. To express 
a habitual action. For example, I get up every day at 6 o'clock. He takes exercise every morning. To express a future event that is a part of a plan or arrangement. For example, we go to Chennai next Thursday. She sails for London next month. When does the school reopen? The college reopens next week. So, this is all about present simple tense. The next tense is present continuous. Present continuous tense. We make the present continuous tense with the subject plus am, is, are plus verb in the continuous or ing form. We say I am, he, she, it, is and you, we, they, are. The present progressive or continuous tense is used to indicate an activity going on at the time of speaking. For example, the boys are playing hockey. She is singing a song. It is used to indicate a temporary activity over a longer period of time. For example, I am teaching the merchant of Venice. She is doing research on Shakespeare's play. To express an action that is planned or fixed to take place in the near future. The emphasis is on immediate plan. For example, I am going to finish this book today. His father is arriving tomorrow. To refer a habitual action, that is a habit which continues in spite of advice or warning. For example, he is always interfering in my work. He is always quarreling over pity things. Remember, verbs which express feelings or emotions, activities of the mind, of the senses such as believe, expect, feel, forget, hear, imagine, know, like, remember, smell, think, admire, etc are rarely used in the continuous tense. Next tense is present perfect. Present perfect tense. We make the present perfect tense with the subject plus has in singular, have with plural plus third form or the past participle form of the verb. For example, I have heard strange noises. He has heard strange noises. It is used to denote an action or a state beginning at the same time in the past and continuing up to the moment of speaking. For example, they have known each other for years. We have lived here for 10 years. It is used to denote a past action connected through its effect or result with the present moment. For example, I have bought a new car. Look what you have done. It is used to indicate activities in the immediate past with the adverb just. He has just gone out. I have just finished my work. It is used to express what has happened once or more than once within the speaker's or writer's experiences. An adverbial expressing repetition is usually added. For example, I have sat for hours on a river bank on a fine summer's day. Man's hair had grown gray in a single night. It may be used like the simple present in subordinate clauses expressing or implying a future time. For example, wait here till I have finished my tea. As soon as I have saved some money, I shall retire from business. 
So, so now the next tense is present perfect continuous. We make the present perfect continuous tense with the subject plus has along with the singular subject plus have with the plural subject plus been plus verb plus ing. For example, I have been hearing strange noises. He has been hearing strange noises. It is used to express an action which began in the past and is still continuing. For example, it has been raining since morning. He has been living here for 10 years. It is used to express an action which has been already finished. For example, he has been watering the plants. That is why his clothes are wet. I have been working all day. That is why I look so tired. Now let's begin the past tense. We make the simple past tense with the subject plus did plus first form of the verb. It is used to indicate actions or events that took place in the past. For example, when did you see him last? I received his letter a week ago. To express a habitual activity, for example, he always went to a temple at Diwali. Whenever he went abroad, he took his son with him. It is expressed to an action which occupied a period of time in the past or occurred in a period of time in the past. For example, my father worked in that bank for 10 years. He lived in this house for 2 years. It is used in conditional clauses. For example, if he worked hard, he would pass. If he failed, his father would punish him. It is used to narrate incidents of the past. For example, once I was passing through a jungle. I heard the roar of a lion. I felt frightened. Students, I will continue the remaining tenses in my next video. Till then, you practice these. Copy down the formation of all the tenses in your notebook. You can pause the video for that and learn the formation by heart because the tenses are the backbone of the grammar. Till then, be happy, stay home. Thank you.